We are delighted with the success we've been having so far with our overnight volunteers, and it's been hugely important to us um, because it has allowed us to shift some of the hours of our trained professional staff to more daytime hours from um, from evening when they're asleep and when all of our clients are asleep. Um, during the day, they're able to serve more clients who come in seeking shelter or seeking really any kind of support needs that they might have identified. And since uh, it's during working hours, it's more likely that we're able to connect them with some of those resources at that moment than if they're coming in four o'clock, five o'clock in the afternoon or even later to, to check in because there, um, those other offices and other services are going to be open. Well, when someone um, comes by the shelter, uh, what we'll do is we'll kind of assess their particular situation and then we'll try to see if there's any resources within the community that can help their situation. Um, not just checking them into the shelter, but just seeing what other resources there are in town that could help them. This is where I stay when I, uh, I've stayed over 220 hours here at the shelter as a volunteer. If you're a student, you can do your homework. Um, I, that's where I started out as interning here and, and I did homework and and um, I, I enjoyed it. And I, uh, it's comfortable, there's a nice TV, there's computer access, whatever you might need is here for you. They're very accommodating, they train you very well. <laughs> <laughs>